you became the director of Chicago Match Race Center, the sailing director of Chicago Match Race Center a year or two ago, a couple years ago? Yeah. Yeah. Um, what has that allowed you to do with your team and what's that done for your sort of mindset and your abilities as a skipper? Yeah, I mean, joining the Chicago Match Race Center was an unbelievable opportunity for me. Uh, great city in the Midwest, you know, the, the Great Lakes are unbelievable sailing and uh, just being able to be a part of it and around it all the time is just up my game to so much like over the years tremendously so we're you know it's again uh, just a great opportunity that I got into right out of school and I've been able to practice there and train there and coach there and umpire there so I've seen almost every side of the game and uh, I think that's been a kind of a, a big turning point for me like you said and uh, I'm, I'm very fortunate for uh, what Don Wilson and and the people of Chicago have done for the for that area and that sailing. And it's 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 something that no one's really seen before in America. There's never been a match race center in America, uh, as far as I know. Um, and uh, and I'm 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 sort of there's a lot coming up there this this summer. I mean, we've got I don't even know, but there's a ton of things going on at Navy Pier where you guys are. And from what I understand, there's going to be like hundred thousand plus people there for the tall ships when you guys are racing. What do you hope to to accomplish for match racing um, uh, awareness in the Midwest? Yeah, you know, I, d I don't even think it's about just the Midwest. I think it's more about the U.S. in general. And uh, like you said, we do have a lot going on in uh, Chicago this summer at the Match Race Center. And uh, we do everything from membership to corporate sailing to uh, host like 12 events per year. So it's it's pretty busy. But uh, uh, we're pretty excited, about again, about our Chicago Match Cup, which is our premier event on the World Match Racing Tour. And uh, again, at Navy Pier, we had a great opportunity to link up with the tall ships and uh, you know, there's going to be tens of thousands of people down there every day doing both checking out the tall ships and hopefully coming down to see some exciting racing right off the end of the pier. And you've got grandstands, you've got commentary, and um, and I think from what I what I hear, and again, I haven't had a chance to check it out. From what I hear, um, it's it's the best place to watch racing that you can possibly find. Oh, no doubt, incredible place. I mean. Anyone that's been to Chicago down to Navy Pier, it's we literally race right off the uh, right off the pier itself. So um, I think we've we've had boats uh, close to hitting the pier and using it as an obstruction. So it's it's right off in uh, in everyone's face, and that's I think that's the best part about it. You know, we're trying to make this as a spectator-friendly sport as possible, and um, you know, not many people like to watch sailing just on TV, but I think this is a great opportunity for people to come down, get involved, and uh, see what it's all about. I think people are often blown away, especially in these little boats, with how close it is, how aggressive it is, how physical it is, and they, and they look at it and they say, that's sailing? Yeah, for sure. You know, and all these teams are top-notch professional sailing teams, so they're, you know, they're, everything's on the line. They're, they're pushing every moment, so it's pretty cool again, and uh, hopefully we'll get some, some good spectators and have a, a good uh, crowd base down there. Now, I know you can go to what ChicagoMatchRace.com and check out the full schedule, but give me give me the highlights. Obviously, you have the big Grade One World Match Race Tour event, the Chicago Match Cup in August, end of August, I think. But what do you have leading up to that? Yeah, we have uh, a bunch of smaller events leading up to that. I think beginning in May, we have our Spring Invitational. It's uh, end of May, where it's a Grade Three event. So you know, we invite more local teams, and we also invite some of the youth teams around the U.S. to come get involved in match racing. Um, and then right into our grade two in June, which is one of the qualifiers for our Chicago Match Cup. So the winner of that event will uh, get an entry to compete at the Chicago Match Cup, which is beginning of uh, August. And then we also, I believe, have another event in July, another grade three event. Um, and we are actually operating these grade threes as double headers. So we're doing uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and that uh, allows teams to come in for two events back to back, which is uh, great for teams in the U.S. to kind of help their ranking and uh, cut get, costs and yeah, yeah, cut costs, get more experience in match racing. So uh, a great thing. And then obviously right into Chicago Match Cup, and then a week after that we have another Grade Two event, which is part of the Grand Slam series, uh, co-hosted with Oak Cliff Sailing Center, Detroit, and uh, Knickerbocker. So out in uh, where is it? Long Island. Um, how do your duties? Uh, running the show there. How is that going to work with you going around the world and sailing all these tour events? Yeah, I'm still going to be the sailing director there. Um, obviously, I'll be gone for weeks at a time, but um, I think it'll work out fine. We have a great, um, some great other people running the show with me, so 
uh, between Todd Reynolds, Stephanie Robo, Maggie Shea, and uh, our great bosons, John Ponsetto, Josh McCaffrey. We have an unbelievable team, and I've no doubt that uh, anything's going to, you know. No one's gonna, nothing's going to burn down? <laughs> nothing's going to go wrong when I'm gone. And in fact, it, it's nice to have uh, Stephanie Robo, another great uh, match racer, and uh, kind of running the show for a bit when I'm gone. So I think that'll be cool and a uh, different perspective on it. She's not upset she doesn't get to go travel with you? Yeah, she'll, she'll be there hopefully for some events, but I think uh, she's got her own match racing to do, her own sailing to do, and that'll be that'll be good. Um, what about uh, the match racing? You said that you do classes, and I don't I don't know. Is it a, like a sailing school, or do you need to know what you're doing, and then you can go down there and learn how to match race? Yeah, we... Uh, it's more of an advanced racing program, so we offer a membership program all summer long from beginning of May through mid-October. And we basically offer two nights a week. We do advanced match racing practice, and then we also are offering this year a kind of learn to race keelboat uh, program, where we hope to get some of the um, racers in Chicago a bit more up to speed, and then hopefully they can go on and get into match racing a little bit. And This is with those Tom 28s. Tell me a little bit about those boats. Yeah, we have uh, a fleet of eight Tom 28s and unbelievable boats. Very sporty, open transom, uh, turn on a dime and really powered up. So it's, you know, for the light air days, we're, we're usually all right. And for the heavy air days, we can throw the reef in and it's still that much more exciting. You know, it's uh, just really fun boats and uh, they'll, they'll be seeing a bit of a new uh, a new look this year. So uh, stay tuned on the website for the uh, Oh, and for the update. Some new graphics. You know, we, we dig the Chicago Match Race graphics before, but yeah, they're a couple years old now. You got to get a little sexier, right? No, for sure. You know, we always got to keep it exciting <laughs> and uh, keep people uh, uh, just excited about the whole program. So. so what does that membership cost? And I assume you, you join and you pay a monthly due and then you can come down every th twice a week and on the weekends, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, Tuesday, Fridays, we offer membership practice, and uh, for skippers, we're offering that 950 for the whole summer long, and uh, crews 650 so. So a grand, and you can go sail these Tom 28s twice a week, and, and probably do some of the lesser events or something, right? Yeah, and you know, I, I mean, you go try and charter a boat for a day, and anywhere else in Chicago, and you're paying probably, day. yeah, exactly, so, you know, you're going out for two hours, and you're paying that much, and <laughs> we're offering a whole summer of sailing for uh, less than a thousand dollars for a skipper. Six fifty if you're a crew. That's pretty cool. And obviously you learn so. I mean, I, you can't even imagine how much you learn out there with guys like you throwing people around, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm I'm giving it my all, and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, I'll be able to share some of the wisdom I learned from the tour with all the people in Chicago and all the visitors that come in. And um, again, yeah, we're hoping to do some clinics this year as well. Get some of the uh, owner drivers, Meldus 32, Meldus 20 guys into the class and. Uh, hopefully some far 40 guys and bring their teams in and uh, I only think match racing is going to help teams at this point so well, I think that's the big thing is regardless of whether you think match racing is the best thing in the world or, or not it undoubtedly will help you get better in starts boat handling boat speed high mode low mode and, and, and gear shifting weight sh movement faster than I think any other kind of training could do right for for your fleet racing skills yeah for sure I think it's definitely helped my fleet racing skills and uh, I, I can't see why it wouldn't help everyone else's so um, again hopefully get some of the uh, the owner drivers involved and uh, we'll see how it goes